knew I should have taken a right instead of a left. Hey there. Uh, hi. I didn't mean to frighten a pretty little thing like you. You didn't frighten me. For some odd reason, I didn't sense you there. Hmm. What was a girl like you doing out in the middle of nowhere? A girl like me? Well, I have a perfect explanation for that. You see, I was on the way to give medicine and treats to my dear grandmother, who's very ill. I wandered away from the main road so I could pick some wildflowers. It's her favorite. So you're lost? Yes, I got lost. Does it look that obvious? Aren't you a little young to be walking by yourself? I'm old enough. I'm practically in my second year of college. College? <laughs> are you sure you aren't in high school? What are you studying, pigtails? What am I studying? Um, that's none of your business, anyways. Don't call me pigtails, either. That's fine with me. I'll leave you alone. Wait, before you go, can you at least point me in the right direction? I'll do one better. I'll show you. Show me? I guess that's alright. Just keep this our little secret. My parents would have my head if they knew I was talking to a stranger. The name is Baron. What's yours? I guess I can tell you my name. So we're not strangers anymore. The name's Rouge. Rouge. Hmm. So, why are you out and about in the woods? I just wanted to stretch my legs. Yeah, that sounds fucking believable. Excuse me? Huh? I didn't say anything. I just asked you a question and you answered. Are you okay? Oh, okay. I'm fine. Okay, <laughs> good. Have you ever been to town? No, I tend to keep my distance. Have you? Unfortunately, no. They wouldn't care for a country bumpkin like myself. <laughs> you don't look like a country bumpkin. I thought you went to college. Seems like you're lying, little girl. I implied it was none of your business, and how dare you insult me, good sir? I shall wash the slander from your mouth. Liar, indeed. <laughs> well, I've never. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? You dare insult a lady, especially a man of your stature. You expect a woman of noble blood to walk with some commoner? When the hell do you become an aristocrat? What? Look, Pigtails, I don't have time for your games. Could you cut your shit? What are you talking about? Are you on something? Why do I even bother with small talk? <sighs> You're definitely on something, buddy. Don't you look at me like you think I'm crazy. Oh, we are past me thinking you're crazy. Fuck you. On second thought, Ryder can explain things to you. Who the hell is Ryder? I'm Ryder, you bastard. How many fucking people do you have in that pretty head of yours? Haha, <laughs> you look so confused right now. Thought you could pick up a poor defenseless girl and do all the naughty things to her? Not gonna happen, buddy. Not on my watch. I protect my sisters. Sisters? Yeah, sisters. I think it's time you take a nap, though. I think you hit him too hard, Ryder. No, I didn't. I barely hit him. Is he fucking dead? Good riddance. He smells like a disgusting animal. Pull a stick out of your ass, Rose. Why, you folk a trollop! Rose Rain, would you two shut up? He's not dead. Look, he's still breathing. Could we have done this without the use of violence? Well, if you can think of a way to lure someone against their will, without the use of knocking them out and tying them up, then be my guest. Rouge had everything under control until you guys decided to join the party. You two stay silent. Leave all the talking to me. You make sure Rouge is taken care of. Fine. Fine. Wakey, wakey. <coughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Where the fuck am I? Where are you? You are currently in our grandmother's home. It's not much, but it's completely secluded and protects us. I know that look. 
You think we belong in an insane asylum. Hey, I didn't say anything. Liar! I'm not the one denying that I have something mentally wrong with me. Look, we didn't bring you here to hurt you. We brought you here for Rouge. Rouge? The one I was talking to before Jane Austen came out to talk. I will not tolerate that. Rose! <sighs> yeah, Rouge is our little sister. Except she doesn't know about us. We died along with our parents a long time ago. Our old home destroyed, leaving Rouge to fend for herself. The truth was too much for her to bear. She believes Grandmother is still alive. She had passed away a few months after learning the death of our tragedy. Rouge still believes our parents have sent her on a little errand. She blanks out from time to time on account of us. So what are you guys? Ghosts possessing her body? Of course we're not the ghosts of her siblings possessing her. That's insane. Clearly. <laughs> Whatever, smartass. We're figments of her subconscious. She doesn't remember our destroyed home. Would you fucking stop yapping and get to the point of why we're all here? I was getting to that, Rain. She's only concerned because it's getting harder to subdue Rouge. Felt that too. The reason why you're here, my friend, is simply Rouge needs a pack. It's getting harder and harder to hunt when she pushes us aside when we're trying to take care of her. A pack. We know what you are. You're kind. We usually come across stranded travelers for nourishment, but you're different. We can smell it. You're like us. More specifically, like Rouge. Different. Don't deny it. It's why you were drawn to her in the first place. It wasn't simply for a meal. If that were the case, you would have gobbled her up, no questions asked. Would you stop making that ridiculous fucking face? You're a lichen. Lycos, werewolf. It's why you create the flesh of humans. Have you always been an orphan? Yes, I've been alone since I was a young boy. It explains why you aren't aware of others like yourself. Did you simply think you were different? I just thought I was the only one of my kind. I hate to imagine how untamed a mutt like you is during those nightly episodes. Especially during the moon at its brightest. Rouge couldn't control herself during the full moon either, Rose. She doesn't remember a thing. I'm quite aware of our dear sister's forgetfulness during those occasions. You're also forgetful that it's either Ryder or I that has to do the dirty work. We are lycanthropy, but I refuse to hunt like an animal. Your way is unnecessary and takes forever. My way is clean and practical, not like the barbarous way you kill your victims. They are just food. I know. But can we at least be humane about killing our food? I also eat regular food, though, to blend in with humans. We can too. survive with what humans can eat, but it's never satisfying. You know that feeling, whenever you see the crimson color or taste the metallic liquid on your lips. You're right about not cobbling her up at the first chance. When I came across all of, more specifically, Rouge, she smelled different. I was curious. It was Rose's sex hormone. That was what you were smelling. You're a fucking pervert. I'm not a fucking pervert. You know, a male wolf during courtship will smell the genital region of the female to determine her readiness to mate. His tongue flicking in and out, testing the air for traces of her sex hormones. If she is not sexually receptive, she will repel the male with growls and snaps of her jaws. It seems that Rose was sexually receptive unless it was from you, Rose. I would never demean myself into being sexually attracted to a mutt like you. <laughs> Funny, I can smell it right now. Rose is a prude. If we let her have her way, Rouge would die a virgin. How dare you, Rain? I'm not a prude. Enough, you two. So what is your answer? You mean in being a pack with Rouge and all of you? No, we plan on revealing everything to her. We need to know if you are willing to be there for her as a pack, Alpha. And also as a mate. It's kind of hard to accept when I have no idea what Rouge wants. We are her subconscious, you fucking idiot. If I want to spread my legs for that handsome face of yours, Rose is also wet enough to jump your bones. I'm pretty sure Rouge feels the same way. I do not jump someone's bones. What a vulgar term. I'm sorry. How about fucking his brains? He gets the point, Rain. 
I accept, but if she says otherwise, I don't mind still being able to protect her as my duty as an alpha. Thank you. We are now going to release Rouge from our hold. Give us a moment to converse with her. Of course. Rose and Rain, let Rouge go. Oh no, not another blackout. This is embarrassing. Where are... Wait a minute. This is my grandmother's house. Where is she? What did you do to her? Answer me. Rouge, he has done nothing. You remember her death right after the attack from the Huntsman. Huntsman? Yes, Rouge. We managed to kill most of those bastards. I remember the axe. Oh, God. Coming down on Mother's head. Yes, my sweet Rouge. Father managed to rip the Huntsman's throat out, and the other three. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to see the other five. We... We tried our best to help them. We fought tooth and nail. They came back with fire. Oh, Rose. <laughs> you were burning. <laughs> I tried to help, but I really did. I know you did, my sweet Rouge. I burned one with me, though. Right. You were captured by their nets, and they were stabbing you. Ryder and I... We managed to kill the three, but not before the blades ended your life. Those cowardly bitches. They had to have three of those assholes holding me down with a net. If not, I would have bit each of their balls off. <laughs> I know you would have gave them out. Rouge, it wasn't your fault. Why did you get in the way of the last huntsman shotgun, big brother? You know why. We've taken care of you for far too long. It's time you let us go. I don't want to. I think you do. You've been fighting us for a while. Deep down, your subconscious wanted to stop ignoring what you've been purposely blocking to prevent yourself from getting hurt. I believe with Baron in the picture, you guys can start a new pack. You both are the last of your kind and can protect each other. It's time you live your life. Stop dwelling in the past. You have to let us go. But you don't have to forget us. I love you, Rouge. My dear, sweet little lady. I love you. Don't take shit from anyone, got it? We love you, Rouge. I love you all. Thank you. I will make you all proud. I won't forget you. Sorry, you had to see that. It's kind of hard when I'm still tied up. Oh, of course. I'll, I'll untie you. I'm sorry about how your family died. The only thing the orphanage had said was that they found me at the age of four, dirty and hungry in the woods. I started to show signs of turning when I was about ten. By then, I read stories about our kind. So I ran away. I knew they would kill me once they found out. So you've been on your own ever since? That sounds horrible. Not really. I pretty much could do whatever I want. Besides, I'm not alone anymore. How am I supposed to swoon for that half-assed pickup line? Got any I can borrow? I don't know. How about you have a gorgeous pair of eyes? I would say the better to see you with. But I'm not gonna lie, I do have gorgeous eyes. How about we find something to eat? I was hunting before I ran into you. I was hunting myself as well. Shall we? We shall, Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> you heard my alpha howl. Let's hear that beta howl of yours. I'm not a beta female. Uh, needs a little work. Uh, shut up. Let's go. 